Hello, hello, all you beautiful beings. This is Jesse with Angelic Love Messages, and I just want to thank you all for taking time out of your day or evening to tune in and listen to these beautiful messages from your angels, guides, spirit team, and the universal energies. It has been quite a while since I have recorded anything but I'm being strongly urged to get this message out today in particular. A lot of things have been happening, a lot of synchronicities have been happening for me personally, and I'm only going to guess and imagine that they're also happening to you. And if you found this video, this recording, this audio recording, that would be a clear indicator that you are also receiving synchronicities. So there's a reason for all of this, I believe. And I don't know, I just, when I stepped away, it felt like the right thing to do. But then I kept hearing the world needs to hear your voice. That was a message for me. And I'm sharing these experiences because perhaps you're receiving those same messages. And I've heard this message from other readers as well, other YouTubers that I watch. And it is a universal message for the collective that we all have a story to share. And if you're feeling called to express yourself and get your story out in the world, however that may look for you, through music, through singing, dancing, art, painting, drawing, design, however that looks for you, our angels, guides, spirits, and the universe is encouraging us all to step up, step forward, and put our messages out there so we can help each other, right? This is a healing journey. That is what I'm. my hopes of this channel is. It's a healing journey for all of us. I have been on my own personal healing journey for quite some time now, but I would have to say just most recently within the last, oh, year, two years, the last two years, has really been where I've had some defining moments and pivotal moments in growth and expansion. So the cards that I'm using today are the Quantum Human Design Activation Cards by Karen Curry Parker and the Rose Oracle deck by Rebecca Campbell. And the artwork is by Katie Louise. I will put the links to these cards to where you can purchase them on Amazon in the description box below. And it is interesting. This is a synchronicity for me because as I was talking about sharing my experiences and how my angelic team have been urging me to come out and get this message out to everybody today, or those select few of you who are drawn to this recording, The human design card that we have is gate 35 experience, (laughs) and that is involving the throat chakra or the throat center. In human design language, that's the throat center. And I am also a quantum human design specialist, level one certified. Human design, for those who are not familiar with it, It is simply a modern personality tool and assessment that can really help identify our strengths and highlight our indifferences within us. So basically we're embracing, we all have the lighter and darker sides to our emotions, right? Uh, Happy, glad, sad, mad, and and then some, (laughs) and it goes on. I won't continue on because I want to keep this reading short and brief today. But just a quick overview so with that and I'll, I'll do another recording another session just based on the human design component of it when the right time is but for the time being we pulled one card which was gate 35 experience and then I have we will be pulling additional cards to clarify what messages need to come out. I didn't pull those yet. I pulled the the human design card first before I started recording, but 
now we're going to, you know, once I read through the, the guidebook with the experience gate 35, then I will pull the cards after. So, okay. So gate 35 experience, the challenge to not let experience lead to feeling jaded or bored, to have the courage to share what you know from your experience, to know which experiences are worth participating in, to not let your natural ability to master anything keep you from being enthusiastic about learning something new, to embrace that even though you know how to know, you don't know everything. And the highest expression when you are living true to your authentic self in alignment with your higher calling, your higher purpose, the high expression is of gate 35 is having the ability to know which experiences are worthy and worthwhile, to partake in the right experiences and to share your knowledge from the experience for the sake of changing the story of what's possible in the world. In an unbalanced expression, one might be feeling bored with life, to let the boredom of life cause you to settle for a life that never challenges the status quo. And this guidebook has an affirmation to follow up with that, especially if any of us are feeling the unbalanced expression of this gate. And that is, even if you are in your highest expression, if you resonate with the first part of that, about having the ability to know which experiences are worthy and worthwhile, either way, this affirmation is really nice to say out loud or in your head. I am an experienced, wise, and knowledgeable resource for others. My experiences in life have added to the rich tapestry that is the story of humanity. I share my stories with others because my experiences open doorways of possibility for others. My stories help others create miracles in their lives. Wow, you know, they delivered or they picked this card for us, but I didn't read the description in the guidebook beforehand. And that just really affirms why we're here today and why my angels and guides and spirit team wanted me to come on here today. So without further ado, angels, guides, spirit team, universal energies, would you please share what else we need to know about experience, sharing our experience in gate 35, please? Thank you. A whole bunch of cards just came out. Okay, let's keep shuffling. Okay, we have release the petals, transformation, death and rebirth, shedding, all change. Oh, that's a good one. Angels, are there any more? Any other messages? Thank you. Okay, lineage of the rose, moved by the goddess, here for this, soul call, gather. I'm liking this so far. I mean, definitely, that's why we're all here today, right? That's why everybody is listening, whoever is listening, even if it's just one of you, <laughs> you're still here with us. The return, a new story, you decide, alignment, it's coming together. Does that feel complete? One more. Thank you. Sub Rosa, hidden in plain sight, mysteries, learning and teaching. Okay, so I would definitely say we are being, we are all being encouraged to share and express our story with the world in some way, shape, or form to help others. Does that feel complete? Angels, guides, spirits, the universe. Thank you so much. Okay, so now let's go to the guidebook for these beautiful supporting cards. Let's go with the first one, which is release the petals, transformation, death, and rebirth, shedding all change. And to me, these are all loving and encouraging and positive messages that are coming through. So please do not think of the word, when I say death, I'm not talking about the physical passing here in the 3D world. 
although that may resonate with some that is not necessarily what death and rebirth mean to me and the message here today that I'm really hearing that it's more about like the death of ego of our ego the way we once viewed things situations and how we reacted to those situations or people whether it was expressed verbally or non-verbally so even our thoughts our thoughts oh my goodness since i've been on this healing journey i can really tell you all thoughts are powerful our thoughts emanate from us whether we realize it or not so this death and rebirth to me is signifying the death of ego and the rebirth of a new way of thinking a new perspective of thinking so release the petals transformation death and rebirth shedding all change there comes a point where we can't go back in a seemingly fleeting moment the road that led us here is suddenly impossible to access there's a sinking knowing that things will never be the same a death a birth a loss a growth an ending a discovery no matter how hard you try things are different now you're different now. The world's different now. What's been seen can't be unseen. There's no going back. Something new beckons you forth. This is a card of change and transformation. Courage is required for the rebirth to happen. Abscission is the shedding of various parts of an organism, such as a plant dropping a leaf, flower, fruit, or seed. The rosehip knows, the phoenix does too, that we need to surrender what was to the earth to one day be transformed anew. We can grasp the petals of the past as the changing winds blow, but eventually we'll discover that change is coming. Change is near. Change is already here. And while once was is no longer, and what soon will be is not yet, it's time to release your petals to the wind with the wild abandon for the chance to begin again. To offer what once was to the wind and let it nourish the seeds within. It's time to surrender so the transformation can happen. Had the rose not released its petals, the rose hip would not have come to be. When we gather the courage to release what was, we're greeted by the fruits of the future. What are you clinging to for fear of nothing coming to take its place? Lineage of the Rose Moved by the goddess, here for this, so call gather. These times, these changing divisive times, your soul chooses to be here right now for this. You're part of a collective team led by the goddess, by the mother of us all, to reweave the thread of the rose back into the tapestry of humanity, to make spaces where all people feel cherished and safe, to heal and be healed from the deconstructive patterns to patriarchy to be part of the return of the goddess to the earth. If you've been doubting your path, you're being called to look within and trust the whispers and weavings from caverns deep. The way of the mystic rose is walked by few and known by the heart, not mind. Try not to overthink, rather trust the threads that are woven deep. This card contains within it a confirmation of the inner call and a reassurance that you're not alone in it. The mother of us all thanks you for being part of these changing times for humanity. She acknowledges your devotion to doing your best to support yourself and others in the journey back home, to themselves, to each other, and to the earth. She wants you to know that she is available to guide you every step of the way. Speak, sing, and dance with her. You are led. You are led. You are led. Soul Inquiry how are you being called to commit more deeply to humanity and the earth? What experiences are you being called to share with the world that will help humanity and the earth? The Return, a new story. You decide. Alignment, it's coming together. You've waited patiently for this moment. You've likely been working on the inner for some time and now the outer is beginning to come into alignment. As changing beings, we're in a never-ending growth cycle. This doesn't mean that we're constantly in bloom. No, this means that we're constantly changing. 
This card is like the bloom. However, it's more powerful than that. It heralds the coming and going of a whole new way of being. An entirely new story has been written. This card heralds a great shift in your life. This often takes time, sometimes even lifetimes. Acknowledge how far you've come and how much you've grown. You're a part of creating change, not only in your own life, but in the world. Take a moment to take it in. You're just one of many, but your being here matters. A petal in the rose of a new humanity, part of the forever unfolding. Things are aligning for you and around you. They're convening and coming together. You're in the right place at the right time. Your outer world matches your inner world. This card is delivering a message of harmony, coming together, and the embodiment of holding a clear vision for many years. You've been doing the groundwork to get to this moment right here, perhaps for months, years, or even lifetimes. Use this moment. You get to decide what happens next. Rose Transmission I acknowledge how far I've come and how much I've grown. I decide what happens next. Those are beautiful words by Rebecca Campbell. And beautiful words from Gate 35 experience from Karen Curry Parker. I have to take a moment. So my dog is in here and she's sleeping right next to me. So if you hear any of these noises, I know the, my mic is going to pick up on them. She's my, my older fur baby, so I'm, I don't have the heart to put her in another room. So please bear with me. If you hear any no weird noises or odd noises, that's what's happening. She's kind of, she's deep in sleep and <laughs> she's making her doggy noises. So <laughs> I digress. This just tells me what I'm getting from this is all of these supporting cards is talking about our new story and creating our next story the way we want it to look and moving past those old ways of thinking that were no longer serving us. I'm not saying all of the old ways have to go because those old ways of thinking have helped propel us to our learning and our thirst for knowledge, right? So it doesn't all have to be rewritten, right? I mean, this is just a chance to weed out if anyone is feeling stuck or held back in any way. This is your time. Reflect back and see if you can find those experiences that might have held you back or made you feel stuck and see how we can shift our mindset to a more positive, encouraging, uplifting way of thinking. And what experiences are helping guide you towards that higher expression of Gate 35 experience? And this, with this card, this is all about, to me, this is definitely all about using your voice, using your authentic voice. Okay, so this leads me to, yeah, I'm hearing not to follow the flock. I was on my way into work the other day and I noticed a flock of geese passing overhead and it was actually in the shape of an arrow, which I mean, that's not uncommon, right? <laughs> that's that's how our how the geese forms. That's the formation. But it was interesting to me because it just came up right now are we truly using our authentic voice if we're following the pack or if we're following the flock? There's a time and place to follow the flock. And then there's a time and place where we need to branch off and forge our own path and then share our experience along the way with those who might need to hear it, to help each other, to encourage each other, to support and love one another. And when I say the word love one another, love each other, that doesn't mean, oh, I'm in love with every single being on this planet. No, that just means having compassion, holding space in your heart for all beings and things. I say I love you to a lot of people because I don't want anyone to go away feeling as if they didn't matter in my world. Now, I don't say I love you to everybody, but that doesn't mean just because I don't tell someone I love them doesn't mean that they haven't made an impact in my life. There's a time and place, right? 
So <laughs> all I'm saying is like my true close friends, it doesn't have to be just blood that I tell I love you too. And there's different types of love. There is the romantic kind of I love you. There is the platonic I love you. There's also the I love you that you say to your siblings, your children, your cousins. You know what I'm talking about, folks, right? And to me, the platonic I love yous, that goes for my soul sisters out there. That goes for my soul family, my friends. Even though I may not know somebody, I will send love, light, and compassion and kindness to all beings regardless because that's who I am that is part of my human design it may make some people uncomfortable but I'm not doing it to to make them uncomfortable my intention is never to make anyone uncomfortable it's just we all need to hear that I love you every once in a while we all need that love compassion generosity kindness grace and I may not give it all the time. I'm not saying I'm not perfect either, folks. I'm not saying I am. I never have <laughs> and I never will. I'm a work in progress just like you. But I'm not ashamed to say I love you to people, to my people. I'm not just going to go out and, you know, random, uh, come up to a random stranger. I love you. <laughs> I love you. I'm not saying that. And I'm not telling you to do that either. I mean, because we have to use discernment, right? I mean, there's going to be some people who are like, oh, she said she loved me. She loves me, you know, and maybe go the wrong. But that's not what I'm talking about. I don't want, yeah, use your discernment, folks. Okay. There's a time and place for it. And you'll know when the right time is. And if it makes you uncomfortable to hear someone tell you they love you, I do encourage you to look within and think back to those experiences that shaped your thought process around discomfort with the I love you to see if maybe we can shift our mindset to accept the love. Because once we accept that love in our hearts, then we can begin to love ourselves and then we can share that love with everybody. And for some, you may not even have to say the words, I love you. It just exuberates from you. It just pours out of your everyday soul, everyday way of doing things. So to wrap this up, I do believe the overall message is to recognize how far you have come on your healing journey, your spiritual journey, even if you don't identify it as such. But if you have started to shift your mindset to a more positive way of living and thinking, keep going. This message is confirmation for you to keep going and look back and reflect how far. Take a minute to write down, you know, maybe a year ago, I would have thought X, Y, Z, if this situation would have happened, or if a situation has recently happened, how would you have handled that? How would the old version of you handle that? And then think about, hey, give yourself that love, grace, and a little gentle pat on the back, like, at a boy, at a girl, way to go, you know? And <laughs> there we go. There's confirmation. Thank you. Thank you, guides, spirit, angels universe and that is not gender specific either please this is i'm not um this is not gender specific this isn't just men and women this is for all beings okay but we do all have masculine and feminine energies so every single one of us we all have the masculine and feminine energies so that is what i reference in particular just wanted to say that Okay, so you're not in this alone. If you're on this journey, if you, maybe hopefully this, this message will give you that little pep in your step to keep going, keep doing the great work that you're doing. Reach out to other like-minded individuals to help support you. Even if it's just an online community for the time being, be it your social media platforms or listening to different podcasts or YouTubers. 
Um, there are so many wonderful readers out there, so many great coaches, life coaches, and spiritual leaders out there. Just be careful, be mindful, and follow those who resonate with your soul. And then let the others go because there's someone for everyone, right? This is your new story. Go out and make it. Share your story with the world because you never know what your experience is going to do to help someone else. Thank you all for joining. From the bottom of my heart, I am so grateful for you. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guides, spirit, and universal energies for being here with us today, for guiding these messages and helping us connect with one another. Until next reading, everybody, take care, be well, be safe, make the choices that are best and right for you, and express yourself. <laughs> Madonna's express yourself. You got to make it. Express yourself. Hey, 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 hey. So if you want it right now, let me show you how. You get what you got, no oh, baby, ready or not, express yourself. Okay, I don't know if those words are all, the lyrics are all right on that one, but there you go. There's a little song to lead us out for the day. Thank you again, sending you all so much love, light, compassion, grace, and kindness. Be well, take care. Thank you. <laughs>